If you haven't seen the Create Stashes video, please do that first before you proceed. To summarize, stashes can be thought of as hidden objects, that you can create as backups or as reference objects for tools like Conform and Normal Transfer. If you select an object, that carries stashes, you can use the View Stashes tool to inspect them. For quick access, you can just press the V key after you've brought up the Mesh Machine menu. With the tool active, stash objects will be drawn using white wires. You can cycle through stashes by scrolling with the mouse, or by using the 1 and 2 keys. Also, by pressing the X key, you can toggle X-ray, which can be useful if stashes are partly or completely hidden by other geometry. Finally, you can press the R key, to retrieve a stash, which creates a duplicate of the stash object, in the current scene. Since they are just duplicates, you can delete the retrieved stash objects, without losing anything. You can always retrieve a stash again, unless you deliberately remove it from the blend file, which I'll cover in the Remove Orphan Stashes video. You can view stashes directly from edit mode as well. I'm retrieving the stash of the sphere before it was boolean, and the box, that was used for the difference. Note how the box doesn't have any stashes, but the sphere has two. These are the same two stashes the sphere had before the retrieval, but they are now also stored on the original sphere mesh, that was stashed before the boolean operation. So the same stashes are accessible from both spheres now. And retrieving of stash objects, is done relative to the new location, rotation and scale of the active object. For this reason, you should avoid applying the scale, rotation or location of the active object. If you have to do this, you should retrieve the stashes you need first. Then apply the location, scale or rotation, followed by re-stashing the retrieved objects. 